First, select your point pickable option. Once selected, you can pick points and snap to them directly. This is useful in 3D drafting. However, in this scenario, we're going to go ahead and draft in 2D, so we're not going to be actually snapping to the points on the point cloud. I'm going to go ahead and select polyline, and then I'm actually drawing on the drawing plane now. I'm using the point cloud as a backdrop. and I'm just going to go ahead and select points, pick a point for the polyline, and then insert an arc and enter and then I'm going to adjust the arc into place. The point cloud in this instance when drafting in 2D is used as a backdrop you're actually drawing directly on the AutoCAD drawing plane. In another example, let's zoom in here, let's draw this curb outline. I'll draw the first part of the curb here, draw the extension legs here, and over here and then I'll put an arc in to complete the curb section. Again, this is 2D drafting. It's a great tool to quickly outline your entire drawing, curbs, uh, building lines, uh, and then stripes on the street. You can see through the intensity return on the point cloud, you can see where the stripe was on the street, and I can easily draw a line to represent that and you can see there's other stripes that continue up the street. I can just go ahead and pick right through the point cloud onto the drawing plane and place these lines. If you wanted to select the point cloud directly, you would then select point pickable and all of your uh, lines or polylines or arcs would be snapped directly in 3D space. So if you're doing 2D drafting, this is the best choice. Uh, just go ahead and use the point cloud as a backdrop. Here I'm looking down at a fence line on the point cloud. I'm just going to quickly draw uh, the outline of the fence. You can see here I can see clearly where the fence is based on where the point cloud is. And I can just go ahead and place my lines. Line it up carefully and then select enter. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the visibility of the point cloud using to toggle point visibility and then you can see here the lines that were left behind. You can turn the point cloud back on afterwards.